Hello everybody, this is a presentation that we've put together that is specifically targeted at solution architects who are probably the most numerous category of people around the world who have the word architect in their job description. Solution architects are going to be asking specific questions about Archimate. Why would it be of value? How can they use it in their professional practices? And how could they actually um, achieve Archimate certification? And if they did that, how would that benefit them in their professional development and career progression? Let's remind ourselves that Archimate 2 is defined by the open group. Who are the open group? They're a non-profit, non-vendor aligned, open standards organization. They're the people that publish the TOGAF 9 architecture framework and method, which is the world's most successful framework and method for enterprise architecture. One proof statement of that is that 11,000 people worldwide have achieved the open group's TOGAF 9 certification. What is Archimate? The open group say quite simply that Archimate is a graphical modeling language for enterprise architecture. But what does that mean and why is it um, something that is actually more significant than that to solution architects? What we see in Archimate is a build out. It's an elaboration of the TOGAF architecture content meta model in a way that gives solution architects more power and flexibility uh, to define business architectures, information data architectures, application architectures, and technology architectures. So there is a more rigorous uh, and more completely defined meta model and semantics, especially the relationships in Archimate as compared to TOGAF. And we can also see that there's a strong concept of layering in Archimate, which allows us to create graphical views of the entire stack, business, information, data, application, technology, and infrastructure. We can work completely in one of those layers to define a complete business architecture. And at the end of our work, we have established all of the relationships, the integration and touch points between business application and technology and infrastructure. Uh, so that's, uh, it's an integrated approach to creating architecture views and capturing knowledge about our architecture. Archimate 2 is also strongly integrated with TOGAF 9.1, and that's going to increase over the future. So what we can see on the left here, we have a picture of the TOGAF architecture development method. You remember that from TOGAF training, and we can see that it is mapped to the Archimate content meta model. So in Archimate, we have business, application, and technology layers. And uh, these capture phases B, C, and D in the architecture development method in TOGAF. We also have in Archimate 2, two extensions, a motivation extension which capture, captures the information in the TOGAF preliminary phase, phase A, the architecture vision requirements, phase H, architecture change management. Also in Archimate, we have an implementation and migration extension, which captures phase E, opportunities and solutions, phase F, migration planning, and phase G, implementation and governance. So we've got all of the things in Archimate that we had in the TOGAF architecture development method, but we've got more. So what we can do with Archimate is if a team of architects can, can learn and start to use a consistent architecture content meta model, that's a giant leap forward, even if they're not using an architecture repository. Architects are creating reusable architecture building blocks um, that uh, allow the architects to work in a way, the way that's more consistent, accurate, efficient, predictable, and repeatable. Does it work? Yes, it does. Four years ago, we have a customer um, here in Australia who was taking three months to do the baseline architectural investigation for any um, major corporate transformation today as a result of adopting a consistent team-based architecture content meta model and an architecture repository. This is a large company. They're getting that same work done in three hours. Three months versus three hours. That's a business benefit. That's significant. It does work. So we can find that um, we can populate an architecture repository using a consistent architecture meta model. And that allows us to have an aligned architecture that is more accurate and our work as a team of architects is more efficient and more structured. So Archimate, we say, 
um, we believe can be a critical enabler for an architecture repository for an architecture team. Here is the TOGAF 9.1 architecture repository. You remember that conversation from the TOGAF training? So that is the, uh, the target. Now, the business benefit of an architecture repository is it becomes a, a tool for answering architecture questions. We no longer have to re rely on Visio. We no longer have to re rely on our memory. And once we've got that knowledge in an architecture repository, which takes, takes a while, um, we can reuse it. So that's what makes us more effective. Now, your sponsors and stakeholders in the business are going to notice several improvements in the performance and delivery of the architecture team. Basically, they're going to be getting greater business value and the architects are going to get more work done faster. They're going to be, cre be creating better results but over a period of time, they're going to be requiring fewer architects. There'll be, there'll be plenty of things for the architects to do. So it's not like we're going to ever get rid of architects, is it? As a result, the uh, demand, we believe, for Archimate certification is going to increase. Employers are going to start nominating, and we're already starting to see this in the marketplace today. They're, they're specifying the Archimate 2 certification as an additional desired professional qualification additional to TOGAF, which they're already specifying as a requirement for architecture candidates. And this is going to uh, be a process that affects vendors and providers of professional consulting services, contractors and consultants, and technology companies themselves are going to be looking for um, how, how best to use Archimate um, in the future. So at the present time, training, Archimate training, is provided by training organizations that have been formally accredited by the Open Group. That's a two-day training course. And the uh, certification examination is delivered at the end of that two-day training course. So we believe that as a solution architect, there is certainly a value in Archimate 2, and we encourage you to investigate Archimate 2, and, and uh, we think that that's something that's going to be uh, of specific, uh, notable interest to solution architects. It's going to be of interest to everybody, um, project managers, business analysts, enterprise architects, but solution architects, uh, this is something that affects you. We're Enterprise Architects. Um, if you're interested in training or talking to us about anything of an architectural nature, give us a call. Thanks for your time.